Do you want to play Zelda, but like this? Today, we're going to dive into enhancing one of the greatest games of all time, the original Legend of Zelda for the NES, giving it a fresh coat of paint and a modern sound upgrade. Let's embark on this journey using the Messen emulator, and some files that you can find in the description below. Let's begin by addressing the fundamentals. Classic games on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or the NES, are constructed from 8x8 pixel tiles. These pixelated images, while nostalgic, can seem outdated in the high-definition era we live in now. That's where HD packs come into play. They serve as a modern makeover for these classic games, replacing the original tiles with high-resolution versions. This not only enhances the visual appeal of the game, but also breathes new life into the gaming experience. First download and install the Messen emulator from its official website. On my desktop, I made a folder for it. Once it's downloaded, I'm going to make sure it opens by clicking on it. As you can see, it's only a .exe file, but then creates the folders later on. The configuration window should appear. And now you're going to select the options that I have on screen. Next, it'll create a shortcut on your desktop. After this, we'll configure our controller. To do this, navigate to the settings and select input. Within the input submenu, select NES, then click Setup next to the NES controller dropdown. You can now configure your controller settings here. I recommend doing this right away so you don't have to worry about it after launching your game. Then exit out and save when the dialog box pops up. Once you've downloaded the right ROM, we're going to double check by looking at its checksums. So what are checksums in general? They're basically a computational or hash value that is calculated from an input of digital data. What this means is that they're used to verify the integrity of the files. You may think you have the right ROM, but using this method will make sure that you have it. When you download a file, especially ROMs for games, it's important to make sure that it hasn't been tampered with or corrupted during the download process. This is where checksums come in. You calculate the checksum of the downloaded file and compare it with the original checksum provided by the source. If the two match, that means your file is intact and hasn't been altered or corrupted. So in our case, we have to make sure that the ROM has the right checksums so the textures will load in properly. We can use this website by dragging the ROM into it and displaying the ROM's hash code. Then we can compare it to the forum post that we're going to get all our files from. If they match, that means you have the right ROM and it'll load properly. You can use this method for all sorts of things, which I'll make in future videos. Next, we will install the HD pack. You can download it using the Google Drive links provided below. There's a link also to the original forum post as it provides more detailed assistance, including a low CPU version of the textures just in case. It's a reliable source if you need any help configuring it. After obtaining the HD pack, unzip it into its own folder. I just basically put it next to the emulator so it's easier to find. Now we're going to go back into Messen and click on Settings and make sure that the Enable HD Packs box is checked. Now we can load the Zelda ROM into Messen by either by loading it or dragging it into the program. Once you've verified that it's able to load up, we're going to go into the Tools menu and select HD Packs and then install HD Pack. In the folder we just unzipped, I selected Zelda Remastered.zip. A dialog box should appear indicating a successful installation. Click OK and all the HD textures should automatically load. If not, try reloading the game, but you should see a change right away. You can also see that the sound has changed as well. But there you have it. Here we have a fully realized HD pack of the original Zelda. The gameplay demonstrates an art style similar to A Link to the Past and The Minish Cap, some of my favorite games in the series, as well as introducing a fresh aesthetic that Nintendo has yet to explore for a long time. Modern technology allows us to enhance classic games, letting us appreciate both nostalgia and innovation. And thanks to the Messing community and its commitment to HD packs, we can enjoy this game in a format that fits our modern configurations while also retaining the original gameplay. This is just an example of those who are building their own emulation machine and can utilize arcade launchers or just using Steam Big Picture mode in order to load some of these old games up to a bigger screen, which I will do in a future video, but I also made Media Center and related content for this channel a long time ago that's still relevant today. By the way, if you're interested in repurposing an old PC into a media center, I already have tutorials on my channel for that. They're great for gamers and tech enthusiasts looking to optimize their setups. But I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.